Good morning, my name is Lucia Castelli. I am uh, the AFSI Child Protection Advisor for AFSI, working in Headquarter. And I am going to present to you a guideline that we prepared uh, for uh, the response, the first emergency response actions all over the world. The guideline was prepared starting from the first experience that AFSI Lebanon had in the field and then to spread this experience mainly uh, to give ideas and tips to everybody all around the world and to give them the possibility to continue their activities, the activities that already were in place in the child protection and in the education sector, because we always conceive these two sectors together, uh, to do these activities also in the emergency situation. In the slide, you can see the index where you see that the, the, there were three main group areas of intervention. One is the psychosocial first aid, uh, and so there is, are guidelines for the call center. The other one are activities, how to spend the time with children, and the third one, how to talk to kids about the coronavirus and deal with the, the lockdown. Uh, now I will uh, give you some examples of the activities uh, that uh, uh, we, obliged, we were obliged to do mainly online. The first one is the training of local staff on the procedures to be adopted to limit the risk of COVID infection and disseminate useful practices of prevention. The second was the distribution of hygiene kits and information messages. The distribution was possible in many countries. Uh, first of all, in uh, Lebanon, we had uh, this uh, distribution of hygiene kits uh, and also awareness session organized to give information messages in uh, the camps, the informal camps for Syrians. Uh, in Kenya, uh, we had a very nice and interesting experience uh, done by some volunteers coming from the Scouts Association that they were promoting information and awareness raising activities and also showing uh, how to do it with the kids, for instance, how to uh, clean your hands, how to use in a good way uh, water, uh, mainly done in the Dadab camp in northern Kenya. Um, another activity was uh, the organization of a distant training for local staff on art therapy. Art therapy is a tool that we generally use to develop resilience in kids uh, in order to uh, have the possibility to continue this activity. Uh, we prepared some video and we prepared a TOT training for the staff and also for the caregiver to show them how they could do certain activity uh, on art therapy with uh, their kids. Another activity was the distribution of creative kit. Again, uh, this also is interesting uh, to help and provide the caregivers with the suggested activities and action to help children personally connect with their experience. So we prepared some creative kit and we distribute them. And then there was uh, the, um, from our staff uh, the possibility to see and uh, listen from the caregivers how activities were going on. These were done through phone calls. The preparation and distribution of scholastic material for homeschooling was done in many countries. These are two uh, um, photos that are coming from Mexico, but also in Uganda, in Kenya, in Burundi, uh, according also to what the government was suggesting. Uh, everywhere, and this was very much important, was the call center. The call center uh, uh, organized as a psychosocial first aid to support the caregivers to understand and manage behavioral changes that children could have uh, caused by the situation. And uh, through these uh, call centers, uh, also sometimes uh, we were organizing uh, groups uh, of caregivers uh, uh, talking together with uh, our staff uh, in order to share uh, their concern and the experience that, that they were having uh, uh, being obliged to remaining home. Um, I wanted to stress four key takeaway points uh, also uh, as uh, the starting point of discussion uh, with you. Uh, child protection and education are for us inseparable sectors and cannot be dissociated in the implementation even in an emergency response. Don't forget that 
the first activities that can help to give protection to our children are activities of education. Activities in the guideline ensure continuity and consistency with the activities AFSI is carrying out in all countries. The load of the work for all our staff is always very heavy. And so uh, let's say that this uh, COVID emergency has been an occasion to find out the different approaches to do things that we were already doing and maybe to do these things better. Uh, we experienced the fact that the social workers were the most effective to implement the response because they are the one having the strong relationship with the families and the community. The relationship when is already there, it is easier to continue it. And uh, I think that this is very much important also for us to understand how to proceed in, in this intervention and there is need to evaluate the impact, for instance, of the online interventions versus the direct interventions. Find new ways of intervention to go beyond the first response. The relationship and the direct relationship must be always there in our intervention. So how to replace this with all online as we are doing? Let's not forget that uh, uh, we have also to find other ways uh, to restart uh, uh, the direct relationship among us, among our beneficiaries. Thank you.